this capsule. In this session, I will be discussing about synonyms. Synonyms are nothing but different words with the same meaning. It is one part of verbal ability. The synonyms will be asked. This kind of questions you can expect in different type of competitive examinations and campus placement. Actually, one word will be provided with you. Among the options, you need to find out the closer meaning of that particular word. There will be four options. You have to choose the best meaningful sentence among the option. Now let us start the session. The first question is the word corpulent. You can spell C O R P U L E N T. You need to find out the best synonyms from the options. First option is lean, second option is gaunt, and third option is emaciated, and the fourth option is obese. The word corpulent is nothing but fat. The meaning of corpulent is nothing but fat. Look at the option here. We can choose OBC is the best answer among four. Why? Because corpulent is nothing but it is fat. So OBC is the best word we can fit with the corpulent. So I can choose option number D. Now let us move on. Question number two. Brief. Which is the best or which is the best synonym of brief among the option? We are having four options. You are need to choose, you are supposed to choose the best option among four. I can directly say that short is the best answer for brief. Anyway, you may say that small, little, or are closer, but among this, I can choose short is the best answer. Now let us move on to the next question. Imbecile, you can spell it properly, imbecile, which is the best option for imbeciles, which is the very closer meaning for imbeciles. And I am sure that the best answer is misappropriate. This is the best answer for imbecile. Now let's move on. Question number four, vent, V-E-N-T. We are having four options. You can read the four options. Vent is nothing but the small opening. Small hole or small opening is generally called a vent. So I can directly say that opening is the best answer for vent. So both are synonyms. Now let us move on to question number 5. August. Which would be the best answer for August? The word meaning of August is nothing but dignified. So I can go for option number C. Now let us move on. Canny. The word meaning canny. We are having four options. The first option means obstinate. Obstinate is nothing but stubborn and handsome word meaning you know. Then clever and stout. Stout is nothing but strong or bold. Okay. Canny means it is actually clever. So you can select option number C. The best synonyms of canny is clever from this option. You need to choose option number C. Now let's move on. Alert. Next option is alert. Next word is alert. You have to find out the best synonyms among the options. We are having energetic, observant, intelligent, watchful. The best option among these, you can select option number 4. Observant also closer, but the best word is watchful. So you have to choose option number D. Now let's move on. Question number 8. The word is warrior. Which one would be the best option? Warrior Soldier, then sailor, pirate and spy. Spy is nothing but a secret agent. Pirate is nothing but a person who attacks and robs ship at sea. That is the word meaning of pirate. Sailor, you know, then soldier. Then I can directly say that soldier is the best option for warrior. So warrior and soldier both are synonyms. Let's move on to question number 9. The word is distant. You are supposed to find out the best synonym among the four options. I can 100% assure that distant means far. So synonyms of distant is option number C, far. Remaining word may, words are not matching with distant. So I can directly opt option number C, far. Let's look at question number 10. Adversity. What is the word meaning of adversity? Is it failure or helplessness, misfortune and crisis? The best word of adversity that is misfortune. 
Adversity is nothing but difficult or unpleasant situation. So I can directly correlate with misfortune. Option number C. This is the way how to solve problems related to synonyms. In the next session, we can discuss a few more questions related to synonyms. Thanks for watching this video. Please share and don't forget to subscribe.